Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here with Dune Hammer Gaming. Now, Dune, say greetings. Greetings. Cool, so last time, Dune was achieving a little bit more success in Asia, but then Ching China oh, had good. a mine of its own, and White pieced out with Japan. <laughs> so, Man. he's still struggling with Japan, but he might be making some gains, and last time I also went to war with the good old Spaniards, in which we're just kind of... Just kind of holding out, having a good time in Barcelona, so. We'll see what happens. Hopefully they'll capitulate this episode. And they have maybe a hundred divisions on the line, but, you know, just Spanish things. Cool. Care of India this episode. And, oh, hopefully, yeah, Dune takes out India, and Greece has invaded southern Spain, so. And I gave up on Africa, so. Yeah, Africa's just... Africa. Just being taken... I just want to say that sounds like normal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, another tank division. Hello, tank division. How are you? I'm oh, losing naval bombers, but not destroying anything. Oh, I got the marines in here. Thank God. Now I can actually use my tanks around here. Not all I of them, actually... because I have my four, four other tanks. Oh, oh uh, where's Japan landing now? Haha, -ha, it's Garrison now, you fools. It sounds like a Kill them, game. Bombers. Where's <laughs> Japan gonna like... land? Yes, I blew up a carrier! Ha ha! Nice. Oh, hey! Yes, keep doing these naval invasions. I'm sinking all the good stuff. Good. Yep, there goes a uh, heavy cruiser. Another one. A couple of destroyers as well. Losing a lot of planes. Oh, I sunk their pride of fleet. Nice. Oh, Japan. I am coming for you soon. They've almost got only 200 ships. This is looking good. Come on, can I make an invasion? Or can I invade? Oh, I might be able to make a tiny, tiny encirclement, which will be very good trying to get through the... Was it Pyrenees? I think it's Pyrenees? I... Yes. Mountain range? I think so. I'm not too sure. That's the only one I can think of that could be. Oh, I'm still 17,000 guns short. Oh. Uh... Yeah, it's not great. Mongolia's going to slightly be helping me out. Uh, it's India. That's where I think I'm losing all the... India, what are you up to? <laughs> just because supply is absolutely crap, so I feel like we're just yeeting them away. Oh, just Indian things. Infrastructure? Didn't need it. Yep, didn't need it at all. Just really want this north and circle, man. They're really being stubborn mules. Oh, they're going for a naval invasion again with one division. Attempt 6001. Hey, if I oh they brought more divisions. That means they're fleets there. And I well. have made a tiny, tiny encirclement. All right, tanks. Good job. Good job, Marines, for actually showing up. Uh, always rely on the German Marines. Oh, I thought they were putting mines out, but it's just planes flying over the water. I was seeing. Ah oh, yes. Oh man, there's so many yes, divisions they're... in the water. Holy cow. They're under 200 ships. This could be turning in our favor, finally. Are they maybe running out of equipment? Is that why these divisions... Oh, no, they're just dying. Yeah, if you really... <laughs> if you focus, like, yeah, just destroying, like, the convoys, then you can at least take all the islands. Ah, oh, very nice. Oh, good. Oh, I'm... If only I could push back in the Sakhalin oh, thank islands there. I actually broke through the Pyrenees a little bit. Yay. Bangladesh. Would you maybe like to declare war on India and just take Calcutta for me? Because that's really far away. <laughs> there goes China. Ooh. Oh, Mexico's back on it. Ching wants to send me 25 divisions. No thanks. You could probably take them, actually, and then send them somewhere else. Uh, so they don't uh, well, lock up supply. To be honest, there's nowhere that re you're not really defending their land all that much. Hmm. And they're not on the front that I've got with Japan, so they're not actually doing anything terrible. Okay. Can't believe that just came out my mouth, but they, <laughs> they're not doing anything terrible. Oh, oh you guys hold, 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 hold. Do, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Just keep Oviedo. What, how do you pronounce that? Portugal, I need your tungsten, please. Thank you. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't even need convoys for that, since you can just move through uh, German lands. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's just like oh. I can trade with you for aluminum, which is great. Stop trading with you and trade with Germany as well for some rubber. God dang, Mexico. 
Who pissed you off? <laughs> yeah, no, I was just like, okay. Uh, ooh, I'm making carrier holes. I'm gonna need a couple planes. No, I just suck in their prey to fleet. <laughs> nice. Well, it's that's kind of in revenge for them doing the same thing to you. Yep, they sunk it. Enemy bombing. Where's enemy bomb? There goes another one. There goes our carrier. <laughs> Greece, you invaded <laughs> again? Holy cow! Wait, you're just like the Japanese. You have, you have invaded and left. <gasps> oh uh... gosh, dang it, Greece! Don't do their thing. It's, it's all not right. A good thing to do. I'm not gonna fill in divisions anyway, so. I I, Let's go for I literally have no expectations for my allies. Oh, and there goes oh. that thing again. Retink. That's okay. Yeah. You never have any expectations for your allies. Unless it's another player led ally. Anyway, then. You then can say, oh, well, yeah, I know. If you watch, uh, like, Bo Cohen's videos, sometimes you don't trust your allies. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, they get up to some wacky crap in there, like. Uh, yeah, this invasion of Spain. A little slower than I thought, but, I mean. It's Spain. It's 1943. It's going to be a slog wherever you fight if it's a, a, at least a rel relative regional power. Because, mm -hmm. like, India. I mean, you're struggling with India. They're not a major power. I'd say they're at least a regional power. Japan yeah, is a major the... power. You know. I'm definitely going to be taking a break from warring once Japan and India have been dealt with. I'm just like, ah, oh, peace at last in the Soviet Union. <laughs> And then we well, like, <laughs> and then war again. Just after I've got all my supply and recovered from the wars, it's been yeah, it's been a month. How about another war? Yeah, just boom. Just I'll just go after Ching and take out all their vassals as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and take out China. Take out Vietnam. Oh wait. No, oh, you got Vietnam. <laughs> yes, Maybe Vietnam, Siam, Vietnam. Burma. Yeah. Just everyone else. Everyone that I can take. You Maybe must Sri Lanka, take... just so I can get some rubber of my own. That's oh, true, yeah. Some, a little bit of Tibet. <coughs> <coughs> Don't you know that Tibet oh. is actually Russian? <laughs> yeah, it's Russian. Didn't you know Asia is Russian? <laughs> it's all Russian. Uh, this it's... is all rightful Soviet territory. Exactly. Oh, it goes uh, Belize. Oh, they were nice wee color over well, there. Well, they could actually do that because they weren't guaranteed by the U.S., because oh. when the U.S. or the U.K. decolonized, that I think it was after the U.S. did their little "I'm going to protect you" thing. Oh, so they'll get protected. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, oh, oh great! I basically purged all the people that I could choose for like <laughs> my Air Force <laughs> military staff. That's the problem with playing the Soviet Union right now. You really have to make. Although decisions. saying yeah. that. Ive is the one that gives plus 10 air superiority, so, you know, he's the best one there, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Just pur I hate the purge, man. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see what they do when they rework it someday. Someday. Yeah. There's some interesting stuff, yeah. Okay. Oh, bye, Costa Rica. You know what, Mo- I almost said Mocha. But, uh, Mexico, keep doing what you're doing, because when I take you out, then I don't have to go to war with all these other people and, you know, waste time doing that. <laughs> Yeah, so you should just do all the work for me. Just thank you. We are not pushing forward in India now. His infrastructure just died again. No, oh, there's a gap. Build up here. No, hold, hold, hold. Don't leave. I keep forgetting my tanks are like... Don't. India's actually pushing back on me. Oh, a bit ballsy. I don't like it. I should really have Japan's to Japan's fleet. Course. Japan's fleet is halved. Since like the during these episodes we've recorded, nice. This is halved. Very nice. Uh, I've, I've suffered oh, a little less than two hundred thousand casualties. That's not bad. The Spanish have lost over a million, so that's not bad either. Oh, I've lost a million. Uh, but, what the? Well, I'm saying that I've killed eight hundred eight hundred and forty-three. Well, eight hundred forty-three thousand casualties from Japan, and then seven hundred eighty-four from. Uh, India, but I've killed 1.5 and 1.4 million of them, so nice. you know. It's cool. Nice. Oh, I could do kamikaze in, actually. Could I kamikaze my infantry? Of course I could. I could kamikaze everything. I mean, I don't have the manpower like the Soviets, but you know what? That yeah, I could literally bad. just throw men into their planes and go, yep, yeah, that's it. Need you to just crash and burn, please. <laughs> well, I mean, you literally can do kamikaze strikes, so. Yeah. 
I don't think I need to resort to that just yet against the Imperial fleet. No, but it would make for a good show. <laughs> it would. <laughs> goes Nicaragua. There's my pink pink. And... Yeah, I can't really be bothered to manually control this too much. Send the tanks in. Infantry, yeah, I'll take a couple casualties. Uh, whatever. If you don't go to service by requirement playing as Germany, have you really played Germany? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, you've not played them to the greatest. I haven't really, you know, been in too many wars besides one where you helped me out against France. Oh, yes, that was a good war. A war I received. <laughs> that was a good war. Oh, back in the day. Back in the day when I actually was able to defeat people. <laughs> Well, I mean, you you said your tanks, which really helped, especially against people. Those there. tanks were just on fire during that. I just cut off the whole Maginot line. That was fun. Oh, beautiful times. Drove in right behind them. Just, oh, hi. Just some Soviets. Just park in here. Don't mind me. <laughs> <coughs> wow, they are tanning through their fleet. This is great. They just keep trying that failed naval invasion over and over again, and their nice. fleet is getting bombed by German naval bombers. Ah, yes. German engineering, the best I engineering. Keep, I keep losing naval bombers, but they just keep getting resupplied because they've got so many just sitting, Let's waiting. see. Anything for naval bombers, actually, in this? Yeah, there they are. Grab you. Just in case. Good job, Greece. God, I really... Oh, thank you. I might regret annexing Greece in the end. Yeah, you won't have a... But then you'll have me anyways, it's fine. And even yeah. more incompetent men than that. <laughs> and we're two years away from getting nukes. I don't exactly want to stay at war with them for another two years, like... Oh, there goes another carrier. <laughs> You know you're doing terrible when the Soviet fleet is now bigger than yours and a hundred percent submarine. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's see, fifteen subs. I'll make it a twenty-two stack and then we'll start shifting stuff over. You guys oh god, I have four battleships. Four nineteen forty battleships. Ah, uh, that's too many. Uh, give me two of you. Oh, you're gonna help out, aren't you? Right Alright, Greece. Just because I'm setting infantry on the front line doesn't mean you need to attack immediately. Give it a little bit of time. Actually, you know what, Greece? You keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job wearing them down, losing thousands of men. That's okay. Hunter killer groups, very nice. Ah, more battleship organization and capital ship armor. I will gladly accept that. Which uh, naval doctrine are you, you using? Um, I've not actually done any of a naval doctrine yet, which I am going to start doing now that you've mentioned it. So it would probably be very helpful. Might as well go to war with Portugal as well. I'll get all that tungsten. Oh, I'll be true. coming for you. Well, not coming for you, but coming for you. Coming your for tungsten. me? Oh, man. Oh, no wonder we didn't have the, the game is gone now. It's just. Plan. Actually, I really cannot afford a war with you right now. That would just be terrible. <laughs> Let's see. Let's check out the Soviet Union with Joey Stahl. 160 divisions. Maybe more than five times my manpower. Definitely have more factories, but... Wait. Okay. Okay, just the Iberian faction. Nice, nice. Finally. I've, I've been waiting for that this entire time. Someone, some, someday for Portugal and Spain to reunite. Oh, I wonder if that'll be in the DLC, actually. I kind of hope There'll so. Be a faction. That'd be kind of there should be. Or even like a... A decision for both of them, like a formable nation of just Iberia. The Iberia, yeah, the Iberian Union, like it was in like the 1500s, I think? Yeah, that'd be a... Oh, crap, I, well, was, I wanted to make that encirclement, but then Portugal, I went to war with them. Yeah. Japan, just stop. It's not working. They have almost under 100 ships. Nice. I might actually get to them this episode, or possibly next episode is when the naval invasions may occur. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hope, I'm hoping Ching Chen. Oh, Ching Chen is doing one policy. I don't really want them to get too much stronger because I really don't want to have to take down a 
Chinese giant. Oh, yeah, that's... I mean, just to kill the Chinese, you just need to kill off all their equipment. Not their manpower, obviously, but... Um... Well, say that Chang China and China get stuck in a war of just... Oh, yeah, they could kill each other. That's true. Yeah, I'm not going to be joining that war. I'm not going to help them kill China. I'm not going to help them win and then have to fight them. <laughs> Absolutely ah, not. Right, we're going for pushing India again. I've actually almost caught up on everything, finally. All right, Model, finish it off. If you can, if you're... Oh, you, you've been weird. All right, so I've suffered about 300,000 casualties against Spain's... Almost two million. Not bad. Not bad. We've almost met up with the tanks. We're super close. And they actually haven't done that much to Africa. Uh, Republic of Africa. No, they haven't done that much at all. You know, you've had a, a weird game when Stanleyville, Equatorial Africa, and Chad have level 10 out of the 10 infrastructure. Nice. <laughs> <coughs> uh, that'll take. That's actually two super division. Nice, good job, guys. It's just a matter of time before these guys all die. My German navy seems to be doing okay. Then again, it's only Portugal and Spain. Uh... Oh, baby steps, baby steps. How many dockyards do I have? Uh, the Portuguese are almost out of manpower. I need some tungsten. Malaysia. Thank you. Oh, yes, Malaysia who's free and should actually be taken over by one of us. I'll leave that to you since you're probably focused more on Asia in general. Yeah. And I don't want to invade the Republic of Malaysia. There goes Spain, nice. And they're dead. Keep going, Japan. Keep going, please. Your fleet is half the size of mine now. <laughs> Very nice. And my tanks can actually do something nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, but I need I need the divisions in India to be freed from this war so I can actually use them in the naval army. Have you built up an air force, perhaps? Um, the air force... Oh, I don't have an air force in India. You idiot. That yes. would be probably very helpful. Thousand planes to India, please. There we go. You know, I said I was going to turn Poland into an oil field. Well, now I'm finally doing it. Oh, there you go. Oh. Thank you very much. And Germany's getting thicker. Oh, I love the, I love my thick Germans. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, that... Basically, it's just your allies in the Union of Britain that's left. Oh. I'm you, of course, but I will be an ally. Very nice. Ah, oh, there we go. Germany are looking, looking kind of nice. So I actually, feel like. We're... And marines and tanks to take out Sudan. There you go. 53 to 66 ships. <laughs> oh, Japan. Do you know, I kind of have a funny feeling that there might just be someone in the comment section that's like, why have you yet? It's like, we'll get to it. Oh, we're working on it. You know, we're working on it. We'll it takes time. It. It, it does take time. We're busy doing our own things. Oh, there goes another Pride of Fleet. Wow. How many do they have? They must have a lot of political power to do that. So that's me sunk like two of them that have been um, aircraft carriers. Unless they're just losing them and going, I need a new one. Yeah, they're probably doing that. They're probably like scripted to just be like, all right, I always need a Pride of the Fleet. How do you make it? How do you make, how do you make a Pride of the Fleet? Oh, uh, you have to click on a, a ship and be like, oh. I want to do that. Let me see. Yeah, because I might just do it to a random submarine. Pride of Fleet. Um, you click on your sh on a ship, and then it says reassign the Pride of the Fleet as current Pride of the Fleet. You have to click on the uh, actual ship itself to get to the ship details. Ship details. Can I not make this as a Pride of Fleet? Go ahead and do that, my boys. Bring Lisbon, do that, do that. Good job. Yeah, let's. I don't know if you can. I don't think you can do it to subs. I can't find it. Unless I'm just being an idiot. Uh, let's see. Submarinos. Subs, <coughs> you cannot become part of the fleets, apparently. 
Actually, speaking in front of the fleets. Uh, the India, can you just die? <laughs> just a nuisance. I won't do naval invasions. Which is still going to be quite troublesome. They still have like 200 divisions. <laughs> trying to push out Siberia, are you? Oh no, it's legionary Romania. It's Bulgaria that's trying to do that. Yeah, you have a new part of the fleet. An actual 1940s battleship. Uh, Coast Guard, don't ever forget, assign divisions to guard the coast. As we all learn from Dune, don't yes, let anyone I've come in. Yes, I showcased that greatly during this. Oh, and yeah, don't leave Gibraltar undefended, even though the Union of Britain has divisions there. Uh, nothing like German Spain. Equatorial, that stuff. Oh, I'm Mozambique and Portuguese Africa. Hello there. 20,000 guns short again, Jesus. Do you know what? I'm just going to keep going against them there. Keep um, going. We're, we're pushing back. I just want to finish this and take all. Oh, I have Macau as well. Huh. Do I have any more of the Americas? Oh, Port of Spain? No, I don't. Maybe. I don't know. Where am I? I have no idea. What day is it? Who knows? Oh, Japan, what happened to your fleet? <laughs> oh, this has been entertaining just to watch their fleet die all episode. It's been 20 minutes of just sheer death. <laughs> I need to focus more on my navy. Oh, I know what I need to do. I want more subs. Give me those subbies. Oh, India, just die. Do I really have to get to Calcutta? Like, I thought maybe taking Delhi, Bombay would possibly kill you, but nope. Yeah, India's, a, India's actually a massive place. It's very massive. I'm kind of surprised Japan, it doesn't have its own faction ever since it got out of its, you know, their own type of faction. But, uh, they could have allied with, like, Mexico and Venezuela. They could have. There's still time. Don't, don't jinx it. <laughs> still time. Sudan, 130 days. Oh, actually, 160. Uh, yeah, we've got a, quite a while before I can go to war with them. I'm going to focus on annexing Hungary, Romania, and them, just so that <laughs> they can't send divisions to fight you off. And actually, it would help if I build up roads in their land. <laughs> the Italians, Bulgarians, and Romanians are currently fighting over here in Siberia, and it's failing. Nice. Come on, Calcutta is 14 days away. I still don't even think the fall of Calcutta is going to kill them. Where else do they have? Oh, Bangalore is probably going to have to fall, isn't it? Uh, how far are they to falling? What's the progression? They're on 79% capitulation. Huh. Towards it, but I don't know if Calcutta is going to kill them. I'm going to have to halt because we're running out of guns very, very quickly. We don't even have infrastructure. That still needs repaired. Oh, yeah, you're doing construction engineering? So am I. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing else really there. By 1943, you have run out of things to focus on, some might say. Yeah. Oh, paradox. Well, I do still have something I'll be able to do, like expand the Red Fleet, but I need to not be in an offensive war to do that. Oh, yeah. Do that. And... That is the only bit, actually, of my tree. Well, the defense of Moscow, if I get pushed back to Moscow, but that's not going to be happening. Oh, thank you very much. Let's go with medium upgrade level. Oh, wait. I, oh, I wasn't doing construction engineering. I'm doing suppressed subjects. That's why. Ah, suppressing the people. I love suppression. <laughs> Nice. What are you guys doing? No sign region. So oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. No worries. Venezuela. How many times do I have to tell you no? <laughs> they still want to join. Yeah, they still want to join. Just join Mexico. Wait, they don't have a faction though. Yeah, just they should. <laughs> They're just destroying everybody. Integrating the south. All right. Integrating the south. Oh, inter oh yeah. Oh, they're they're still like guaranteed course. by the U.S. though. Yeah, so the USA is just like, do you know what? Just take it all. 
Until they get to the point where uh, Mexico just declares war on America and is like, yep, that's it. We're peacing out. Uh, oh, do I have... Oh, I can. Yes. Panzer divisions, you don't need motorized anymore. Start slowly adding in some mechanized divisions. Um, it's weird being a piece. I don't like it. It's weird seeing Japan with a navy that's, well, a navy that's pathetic. Very nice. I might actually, uh, it's, oh, can I send? They don't even have planes. I just want India to die. Just die. Let's see, where have I put all my planes? Oh, I need to reorganize all my planes in Spain. What? Uh, tactical bombers. I've actually lost more men to India than I have to Japan now. <laughs> oh. A million Soviets dead in India. That is not bueno. It's very much not bueno. It's, it's not. It's not at all. Where are my other... Planes. Oh, Ching China and China now at war. I'm not joining that. You can bugger off. Mongolia, don't you even think about <laughs> joining it. Wait, what? Oh, Japan! What, what the hell, man? <laughs> oh, for f Oh. Just when it was getting good looking there for us. Oh, my days. Now I've got the. Oh, Ching! Should have. Oh, you... it... oh for f <laughs> Holy India. smokes. <laughs> oh my days. Who's the majors? Empire, Japan, and China. Great, so I gotta take out Japan and China now. Thanks, Ching. Thank you. We mean your flipping fate once we're done here. Note to self, never help the Ching Chinese. <laughs> no, they just they just screw you over. I'm actually gonna have to send divisions of help flipping. I don't have any spare. I was getting ready to... <sighs> And here comes Mongolia. Wait, the U.S. demands it. transfer of American holdings? Oh, gosh. They want your American territories. Hmm. How about no? Go to hell, America. Is I do own Greenland. Goal on you? Is everything about to blow up? Uh, it might just blow up. Maybe. I don't know. Well, haven't things already blown up? <laughs> yeah, kind of. For God's sake, King. On the plus side, hopefully Japan's going to be sending a lot of their... China. That's true. Like yeah. a fool. Or, or actually, they'll be sending them to India, which would not be great. Really, would not be great. Um. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm not ready for war with China. I was hoping the next episode was just going to be the simple case of me naval invaded Japan, and that's it. Being done. Let's see. Ching China has more divisions, probably. Uh, they might be. Yeah, they, yeah and they have their puppets, Shanxi too, well. don't they? Yeah, they've just called Shanxi, and the other ones aren't in yet. Jibidi Sama has only got seven divisions. So. Oh, but you've, you've broken all the way out to Calcutta. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I finally breached through. Uh, air superiority always helps. It does. Thank God for heavy fighters. Oof. Oh, yeah, I've got my heavy fighters out in Asia now, the ones that I had. Uh, yeah, y'all come down here, you have out <laughs> in southern India. Airborne divisions. Gosh, if Ching, if Ching had just held on just a little bit longer, then I would have been able to just fully... Yeah, that's why you don't trust your allies. This is... Right, Calcutta's fallen. India's not dead yet. <laughs> Those Indians, they won't give up. Maybe need Madras. Yep, that is what we're probably needing. On the plus side, at least the north is cut off and does not have any, you know, supply. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I'm not going to make Plan Z. I don't really feel like doing Plan Z, man. Oh, that's everyone in. That is everybody in against China. China still has army corruption as well, so... Uh, yes. Very nice. Good job, China. Uh, yeah. Well, they haven't been so at war. I doubt they've been training their soldiers, though, really. To get... No, they, well, saying that, they might have slightly been training them because they have reduced it down slightly. They've done one of one decision. Mm -hmm. 
Remove it. Well, start removing it. Oh gosh, NDS push. Can you please not? Can you, can you just die? Two, I've, I may have lost a million, but I've killed two million of them, so... But you're the Soviets. I mean, it would be no issue for you. If anything, i got to watch my manpower. Yes, uh... I should really raise my conscription level, but I don't want to hurt my construction. No. Yeah, after you take Madras, it's... Japan should, or India should probably... They might even oh, die yeah. before Madras yeah, they, falls. They're not even considered a major power anymore. That's good. Yep. Yeah. And I will guess I'll be shipping these guys out to... Possibly take down China. They might not even need my help, actually. They're not... They are slightly pushing. Plus, infrastructure in there's got to be crap as well, so... Oh, yeah. Probably might just focus on dealing with Japan. Once and for all, since our fleet really isn't going to be an issue. I think I can take 39 ships. Oh, that's where I put my planes. Wow, they're all in Macau. Holy cow. That's a lot of naval bombers. Holy smokes. Um, This is way too many planes for me to put in Russian Far East. Uh, give me... Come on, India. Come on, you're 1% away. Yeah, China's losing. Yunnan's being called in. Nice. Oh, and nice India's gone 10,000 guns from the... Now Very we're going nice. to kill the Hungarian and Italian divisions that have been left. Let's see, you're... I'm going to send some planes to Bero Bidzan and start bombing the crap out of the water to help you out a little bit. I'm, I'm currently fighting a tile that's apparently got four divisions in it, but there's no divisions there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I see that. What the? Oh, okay, no, we're walking into it now. What the f- Oh, God, I love it. God, I love it. Somalia. Yeah, China's losing. China is losing. Do I maybe kick China and betray them? <laughs> <coughs> or you let Ching China do all your work, annex China, and then kick Ching China out. Oh, yeah, because I played like peace. We have played like peace and pieces on. Yeah. I yeah. shall take all of this compensation for dragging me into it. <laughs> Very nice. Now you have all of India. Maybe, maybe a little bit more production. And I would and... recommend garrisons, just in case. Oh, yeah. Even though I don't, have enough, I don't have enough garrisons for myself, but... Well, actually, saying that, don't even think I need to, because Japan doesn't have a fleet to really do anything, and China hasn't really got a fleet. That's true, yes. Yeah, they, they combined, they have a total of 54 ships. Nice. Very nice. Right, the only issue now is, is infrastructure good enough in the north? In north? Probably not. But yeah, anyways, probably. I feel like we should end the episode there, because I am going to have to go to work now. That's totally fine. That's totally fine with me. I'm just kind of hanging out. <laughs> oh. Who, did I start this one? Um. Did you? Ah, did I, I think I might have started it. So, cool. I'll end it for everyone. Yeah, oh, it's the third one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So... Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a little shorter than some of the others, maybe. Maybe not. I don't remember. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, though. Like I said, if you did, maybe leave a like. Maybe sub to Dune, if you haven't. Or maybe me, if you haven't. Um, but we had a great time doing this video anyway. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you all have a great, great day. And see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.